Marimen, Kilo de Kilo Shelle. Marimen, why? What is it? What is it with small, small baby girls? Why? What? You don't know. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amina, or you can call me Queen AB. Guys, today I'm back with a story time for you all, okay? So, I want you people to grab your popcorn, grab a little juice, water, and lean back. These married men out here, what they, they want to destroy your life. They want to scatter your life. So, over the summer, I was in Zambia. I worked at the university teaching hospital while I was there. So, on a very beautiful, fateful Monday, you know, I was walking very majestically during lunch time to go and buy something to me, you know, to eat. <laughs> so, you know, why I was headed to where they sell food, you know, I wanted to go and get some Shima. So this man, the elderly man, approached me. He's like, oh, hi, can I talk to you? See, first of all, mind you, right, I'm the kind of person where it doesn't matter whether it's a young boy, old man, or papa, when you approach me, my first thought is not he's trying to ask me how or he's trying to get my number. You know, maybe you just want to tell me, oh, I like your hair. Oh, you're a fine girl. Oh, you remind me of your, of my daughter. He wants to ask for the time. He approaches me and he's like, oh, hello. How are you? I'm like, fine, sir. Good afternoon, sir. You know, because he looks like he's my grandfather. I mean, so, I mean, obviously, I have to pay him the respect. He was like, oh, where are you from? And all that kind of stuff. And I told him, and then he's like, oh, what are you doing here? And I told him what I was doing there. I told him about my project, a little bit about my project, because my project had to do with working with patients. I'm very excited to tell him about my project, because I know I was like, oh, okay, great. This is going to be a good patient for my project. And he can come along to my clinic. He's like, oh, yeah, that's great. I would like to talk to you sometime. I was like, okay, I mean, sure, why not? Mm -hmm, you can stop by. You know, at this point, I'm not thinking anything like, oh, he's trying to ask me out still. And then while he's talking, he's like, I'm like, okay, sure, sir, no problem. He's like, don't call me sir. Call me Marcos. I was like... <laughs> and his name is not Marcos, by the way. I made that up. So you people should know that until you're going to go and Google it. You will not find him. <laughs> But I was like, okay, I mean, you look old enough to be my granddad. I mean, I can't be calling you by your first name now. I mean, is that what we're doing? <laughs> I, I really did not think this man was going to show up. And even if he showed up, I thought, you know, like he was really interested in what I was doing. I actually came to my play, to my office, or my office, <laughs> to the clinic where I was working from like three times and I wasn't there because all the times he would come, I had gone for rounds in the hospital and so the nurse's daughter and the nurses they'll be like oh this man came looking for you his name is this you know this person and I'm like who is it who is it? and I was like oh are you guys sure it's not a patient they're like no it's not a patient because we wanted to help him but he's like oh he's specifically looking for you I was like okay I don't know who this person is so this fateful day this man comes and you know I'm in there and they're like, oh, Amina, the, the, this is a man who has been coming all those times to look for you. He's here. Went outside. I was like, oh, it's you. How are you? But he's changing pleasantries, you know. He's like, yeah, I've been here, but they are never around. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. What was it? This man proceeds. So, you know, I've been seeing you. You look very beautiful. You look very good. You look very yummy. I want to take you out. <laughs> I don't stand there looking at this man like, uh, sir, okay. Don't, we are going to, you are moving too fast for me. Come, come back behind. Right now you have reached California. We are still in Louisiana. I said, so what do you have to say? I say, um, I'm very busy, sir. I'm usually not free. It's like, that's okay during the weekend. I can come pick you up, just take you somewhere to go eat. Ah, I was like, ah. I'm like, sir. Hmm. At this point, I was like, there's no point of beating around the bush, okay? 
So I just went straight forward. I say, Sir, do you have a wife? <laughs> this man looked me in the eye, eyeball to eyeball. You know what this man said? I don't want to lie. Don't make me lie. <laughs> hey! Ho! It was at this point I knew that uh, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. I looked at him like, Sir, I don't want to commit sin. Don't make me commit sin. I shall not be following my father's age meat, entering moto, coming out that I'm going to go and eat. I don't have food. Is it food that I don't have in my house? Hmm? Is it food I don't have in my house? I was like, Sir, I'm young enough to be a daughter. Even your granddaughter said, because the way from where I'm standing and from the way I'm looking at you, uh, so you look like you're 60 something. <sighs> That's really old. So I'm still just standing there trying to be polite to this man because I despise the fact that this man does not have any respect for his marriage, the sacrament of marriage, or himself. I was still like, you know what, Amina? You will not stoop to his level. You will carry yourself with grace and dignity. So I'm still trying to be polite to him at this point. Making him understand that, say, it's not me that will be using my lips to be kissing a man my father's age. Mm -mm. Ah, Kilode, what's that? What's that? Can you imagine? Somebody that was probably sitting in primary school with my grandfather. I will come now and be entering the car with you. I'm going to go and eat lunch. <laughs> I come here, sees me talking to you. What do you think she's going to do? That's all right. I will introduce you to her as her friend. <laughs> Child! Some of these married men, they don't, they don't have the fear of the Lord in them. They do not fear God. They don't have the fear of the Lord in them. You will introduce me, a small Totoro baby girl like me, you'll be introducing me to my mother as her friend. Can you imagine the disrespect? At that point, I was just like, uh, sir, I have to get back to work now, so, um, come another day, eh? Just be going, because carry yourself and walk away, because we don't, we don't want to cause a sin here. These men, they come at times when it's very needy, you know, he was telling me I want to take care of you. You know, at that point, I was just like, ah, I can use this one and play Mugu, you know, be collecting money from him. Maybe even fly me to Dubai, who knows? But see, sisters and brothers, I fear God. I have the fear of the Lord in me. My mates, they will be following big, big men, the entry bar, the entry restaurant, big belly man. You'll be walking around him, following him behind, like it's your mates, calling him baby. Child! You don't respect God at all. Can you imagine? just a big man that can burn you and even burn your, 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 your children's children. You'll be calling him baby, sweethearts. <laughs> ho, ho, lo, lo, lo. You people need to start hearing God. You'll be entering a uh, baby flying me to Dubai. What time this man is talking to me? I don't know if it's just me. I'm looking at him like I'm looking at his lips, his face, his mouth. I'm looking. Not to examine that, oh, he's cute, or no, not that. I'm just in shock. Like, sir, you really see me small picking like me, small child, small young baby girl. You think that I'll be there? <laughs> Kiss me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot even fathom it in my head. Like, <laughs> and you think you will come to my father's house and say you are coming to come and look for me. Ah, whoa, they'll kill you. <laughs> Before you people start coming for me here, the shade community, I'm not throwing shade on anybody. I'm just saying that let us all respect ourselves, say. Let us all respect ourselves and everybody will be happy. You know, respect the holy sacrament of marriage. Go and find men your age to be fooling around. Because see, let me tell you people, karma is real. You be here following a man. That's how when you marry, small girls will be following your husband. You will be following him because he wants to buy them trip to Dubai. You might look fancy and nice now, you know. Chanel bag, Gucci shoe, Gucci belt, Gucci sun shades. But trust me, my dears, brothers and sisters. You know, it's never funny when it's on you. 
So at this point, I want you people, I know it looks creepy, but I want us young, young girls, put your, if you are watching this, put your hand on your head. Put your hand on the screen. Stretch your hands forward. Let us cover. At this point, Father Lord, I cover all small, small girls with the blood of Jesus. Anything that is making married men attracted to small girls, Father Lord, we break that curse in the name of Jesus. That when they see us, if it's our nyash that they are following, Father Lord, may they see the wife of their nyash on us. If it's a breast, may they see the breast of their wives on us. If it's our color bones that is attracting them, Father Lord, cover their eyes when they see us. Because, Daddy, we will find our own. We have prayed and we have covered. Sisters, let me tell you people, cover yourself. Hmm. What am I doing that is attracting this old, old papas to my skin? You don't know. You need to cover your body with the blood of Jesus. So you might think it's funny, but it's not funny. It's not. Ha. Oh, I've said my own. I'm not here to judge anybody's lifestyle morality. If that is your own cup that you like, and see, drink from it very well. But for the rest of us, baby girls, that, that is not our cup of tea. That's to the people we are addressing. <laughs> But guys, hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't run away. It's okay. People should not come and watch now and say you're yeah, not coming back here. I'm not judging everybody's lifestyle. You know, all of us have our different moral principles. I'm just saying that, please, eh? I'm speaking on behalf of the wives because the wives are not happy. They are not happy. You know, please leave their husbands for them. The love of your life cannot be somebody's husband. Your soulmate cannot be somebody's husband, eh? So please. Please respect yourself. Even if the men they don't respect the marriage for them, help them and respect it. Abby, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Let me know if you guys want to see more story times from me. If I, I have stones of stories for you people, that's not even a problem. My whole life is story time. Don't even worry. <laughs> and I'm here and I'm going to be entertaining you guys with my whole story filled life. Go ahead, you know, drop comments below if you've had similar experiences. You know what you think. No, so thank you, you guys very much for coming by. Hope to see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.